In this episode, we're going to take a look at conditional operators. So let's make a paragraph and let's make a span in here. And let's put something like Bob in here and let's do V if true. Okay. So basically, V if is like your typical if statement if the condition is true inside of it. So a Boolean, if it's zero or one, zero is false, one is true. If it's true, it's going to display it. And if we say false, it's not going to display it. If we put zero, not displaying it, one, displaying it, right? If we put null, not displaying it. If we put an empty object in there, it will be displaying it. Okay, so let's quickly make a property show and set it to true for now. And let's put it in here. So we're always showing Bob. Let's let's copy this span and instead of if, let's write show. Let's refresh. And you can see that we have the two Bobs showing here. And uh, V show is very different from V if. All V show is doing is it's, it's basically going to apply a CSS property of display none. So it's just going to hide the object instead of removing it from the DOM. So I want to show this by, let's make a button and let's call this toggle. And then here we want to bind an on click event. And inside this event, all we want to do is we want to toggle the uh, show property to be true or false. So let's set it to uh, not show. So we're basically going to take the current value of show and we are going to reverse it with the exclamation mark. And you see, if we press toggle, it's going to remove both elements. But what actually happens in the DOM is when we toggle, the first Bob, the one that's assigned to the VF, is removed from the DOM. And the, the one that has V show in it is basically just has the CSS property of display none uh, uh, assigned to it. So when to use this and when to use which one and uh, how are they, how can you benefit from them? What's the use case, you know? So you want to conditionally render some um, stuff on screen and you're like, right, I know there's VF and I know there's V show. It's like, which one do I need to use? So for this example, I'd, I want to create a quick uh, user object. And I want to set it to null. Now let's imagine that the user object might have a name property and that name will be Bob in the future, right? So let's just try to render it, right? So username, let's actually remove this stuff. And let's try to run this. So you can see our view just doesn't load. And then the console will say, cannot read property name of null. So user is null and it's trying to read name and it's like, ah, user is null, I can't read it, man. It errors, right? So here you will, you might want to ch make a check that, uh, all right, I want to show this only if username is not null. So you might do something like VF. Or let's actually start with vshow and user. So if you remember when I typed in vf null and an empty object, if it's null, it's uh, not going to render it. If it's uh, an object, it will render it. So it will render it. So at the moment, it's null. So it shouldn't render it. But remember that vshow only applies a style to it. So here you can see we're still going to run into this error, even though we're using vshow. And if we use VF, it's going to render it because it'll basically come to this and it'll basically go, right, ignore everything inside of it until this condition is true. And it's just going to skip this. So instead of our toggle, let's remove the show here and let's do something like user equals new object. And we can give it a property name and set it to Bob. Let's press toggle, and there you see inside of here we set the user, and once the user is not, not null anymore, we can display the name property. Now, let's say surname. Let's refresh and toggle again. You can see that we're not actually going to run into this error if the name is undefined. Rather, it's only when you're trying to access a property of a object that's undefined. So if we would go to name and uh, Go for like first letter if name was a nested object as well. 
and we press toggle, this is where we would uh, run into the error of cannot read property first letter of undefined. And the main difference between null and undefined is if you have a object and it's been set to null, then it's defined, but it's defined as null. But if you have an object and you just haven't set it to anything, so you just say, say right, this is some kind of object, but you haven't set it to anything, then it's going to be undefined. So that's the main difference between undefined and null. And this is basically how it all ties in with VF and uh, VShow. The main key points to take away is VF. You want to use VF when you are dealing with nulls or rendering components. And vshow just really gives you an edge on just styling and uh, hiding and showing um, DOM elements. So if you're vshow, you want to use it when you're just dealing with plain DOM and it's not involved with many objects. So a good example with if you're going to work with Font Awesome and you want to switch between I icons, vshow would be a very very good use case for that. And vif will actually be quite buggy in that sense. But yeah, hopefully it makes sense. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And let's proceed.